Hello everyone, my name is Joel, welcome back to the channel. So a few weeks ago, me and Clone went to Cardiff Brickfest, and whilst I was there, I bought quite a bit of stuff, so today I'll be showing you my Cardiff Brickfest haul. Alright, so the first thing I picked up was actually at the Lego store, and I picked up the Tuscan Raider Brickheads. Also, sorry about this, I was practicing my autograph on a live stream, so that's just why it's there, but yeah. I've been wanting this Brickhead for a while, really nice set, and it's also going to look lovely uh, on my sort of Brickheads display. I've also got a spot for it already. So in the Lego show, my friend Robert, aka The Lost Bricks, he was selling some Lego there. And he had a pretty decent deal that I just sort of couldn't really say no to. So I've been wanting to get a set for a while anyways. And that's the... Oh, and that's the Endor Speeder Chase. Now, this is normally £70, I believe, and he was selling it for £55, which is a pretty good deal. So I ended up buying it from him for £55. And he also threw in a free poly bag, so that, that was nice. I have wanted this poly bag for a little while, and yeah, it's nice to finally get it. So yeah, shout out Robert from Lost Bricks, absolute legend. Uh, everyone go sub to him, uh, his channel's linked in the description. And of course, how could I go to a Lego show uh, without buying the five pound pick a brick bag? Yeah, so I got a bunch of pieces that'll be like really handy for some future mocks. I haven't really shown this on the channel yet, but I have been building some mocks recently. <laughs> And uh, there will be videos on some of these uh, coming out soon, but yeah, that's what I've been sort of working on. Uh, so yeah, these pieces will be very handy for some future mocks I have planned. Also, while I was there, I spotted something very interesting. So in the Lego house in building Denmark, when you leave, they give you six 2x4 bricks in a poly pack. But interestingly, uh, this one shadow was selling Duplo ones. I've never seen this before and I just thought it was pretty interesting. Oh uh, yeah, free quid I couldn't really go wrong. So yeah, I've now got Duplo bricks and that looks pretty interesting. <laughs> now, there is one more thing I did buy that I haven't shown you yet. And that's in this bag down here. So I ended up buying, I think, three pick-a-brick cups with pieces from Lego store. And, um, and yeah, the pieces didn't really fit in the cups and they just kind of overflowed and they become a mess. So I just dumped all the pieces in here. Um, but yeah, now I just got this bag just full of pieces from the bigger brick wall and um, yeah so pretty much they started to fall out of the cup and they were in that bag and I was scared of that bag ripping and then them all like falling out so I ended up just dumping them all in here all right so here's all the pieces that came in the five pound pick a brick bag me and clone just like stood there for ages just filling these up yeah, I would have got quite a few more bags, but to be honest, I just didn't want to stand there any longer. Like, we, we stood there long enough just filling this one up. Um, but yeah, these are some of, like, the weirdest stuff that, that like, made it in the bag. So first off, Duplo piece, not really the weirdest thing. Uh, this is pretty cursed. I think it's from, like, Fabuland or something like that. I don't know how this piece of tape made it in, but it did somehow. Um, this is another, like, Fabuland type piece. I uh, got this called Parrot, so that's something. And then I have no clue what this is, but it exists, I guess. And then, yeah, these are more of like the sort of more useful like pieces for like my future mocks. I did want to get a bunch of like black bricks because these are just way too like helpful in like building the sort of like bases around the sort of uh, mocks. And yeah, overall, just like a bunch of random pieces that are just very handy, I guess. All right, so here's all the pieces I got from the pick a brick wall, and there's quite a lot here. So this is two large cups and one small cup with pieces. Uh, I got quite a few black 2x4s because black bricks are just like very handy. Um, they have like a lot of these sort of candle stick type pieces which are super helpful for like architecture and stuff like that. Uh, I also got a bunch of tiles because tiles are just very useful. I also got like, a few handfuls of these. I know Aqua wanted these pieces so uh, Aqua if you're watching this. If we ever do the mystery box video, um, I will send you these. Um, I also got a few fences, because why not, I guess. Uh, I got some of these, because they're just helpful, I guess. <laughs> also, these white masonry bricks. I did get, like, a crap ton the last time I went to the Lego store, but I kind of used them all. Um, but, yeah, those are very handy pieces. Along with these, they're pretty much like triple-sided snot pieces. Um, I don't really know what I'll use these for, but I can already tell they'll be pretty handy. Uh, I got quite a few grass pieces because like it just helps with like foliage and stuff like that. 
And yeah, there is a load more pieces like in here that are just like very handy for like mocks in the future. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and do all that stuff, I guess.